Okay. Two things I've got to know if they are true in doing my research. Did you really call <laughs> President Carter? I sure did. The N word. I sure did. Right there on, um, <laughs> right there um, in um, Riverdale. I worked at McDonald's, and he walked in, and it was because at the time I was still thieving. I was stealing out of the register. And um, he walked in, well, before he walked in, all, just, all these guys come in with these plugs in there. I said, what is going on? And there was really no customers in there. So I'm putting the money back. I'm like, oh, it look like my parole officer. And in walked Jimmy Carter. And I could not think of his name. Because, I mean, I wasn't in the world of voting and stuff. And I just said, in words, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> And the boy on the grill's like, oh my God, Patricia, that's the president of the United States. And Jimmy Carter, oh, give me a cheeseburger, a water, and a side salad. And I was like, Emrah, you the president, your stuff free. This is how young and dumb I was. <laughs> and every time, ever since I told that story, closer he gets, uh, closer he get to death, people are like, oh, Miss Pat, oh, Miss Pat. I was like, yeah, I only met the man one time, and oh I promoted his food. Second story, you went to his 100th birthday oh. party, Norman Lear. Yes. How did that happen? Well, so when we created this show, The Miss Pat Show, and uh, my co-creator, Jordan Cooper, is a big, you know, TV fan. He's been, he been watching it his whole little life. And so Norman Lear, somebody showed him my show. And he literally called my manager, and we all got on the phone. He said, this is what I wanted to do back in the 70s. I wanted to be dishonest, but the network wasn't, wouldn't let me. And he was like, I love the Miss Pat show. So I mentioned uh, my co-creator to him, and he was like, please come to my 100th birthday party. So I ain't going to lie. Since he gone, I can tell this story. I was scared as hell to buy a plane ticket to a 100-person birthday party. I can't get no refund <laughs> if they didn't make it. Betty White didn't make it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I asked my man, I said, see if they'll pay for the flight shit, you know. <laughs> if, if he don't make it, Delta don't get refunds. So <laughs> we, we waited till the last minute to book that ticket. And I get to that part and all these people, I hate bougie people. I hate how, because I'm just a little, I'm just a, I'm, I'm a hood rat from the West End. So we sat now, the food is horrible. Oh my God, everybody just eating it like it's delicious. I was like, oh, I'm gonna give me some chicken after this. <laughs> and so they let me speak at Norman Lear party. Everybody just so stale and oh my God, Norman Lear. So I get him and I said, Norman Lear, how the hell are you still awake? I'm fifth and I'm sleepy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> And the room just went crazy. I'm like, you should be in the bed. <laughs> and he laughed and everybody said, oh my God, you was the only person that, that was real there. And Jimmy Kimmel was there and I turned to Jimmy Kimmel. I said, Jimmy Kimmel, they would not let me on your show. Tell them you need a big black woman on your show talking about some real stuff. He said, you booked. So I ended up doing Jimmy Kimmel twice from there. But I just went and told Norman Lee exactly how I felt. And he loved the show. Do you pinch yourself sometimes and just go, I can't believe this is happening to me? Sometimes I do. I was like, oh. Uh, uh, when we got invited to normal little birthday party, that was kind of like shocking. You know, I, and I called my manager. I said, well, is Sissy gone? Is they going to give me an invite to the funeral? Because, you know, white people, they don't play that. They don't bury it. They say they just burn you, put you on a little jaw, and everybody eat. <laughs> we got to have we gotta have dancers. You got to tote us, flip the casket. Somebody got to fall out. <laughs> got to have, have a fight. Yeah, got to have a fight. A praise dancer. I don't know why they start inviting hoes to the funerals. <laughs> <It's so bad. laughs> it's a whole show when black folks die. White people do it right, baby. They just burn up their mama. How about she leave her? How much she leave her? Black folks, how, how much it costs? How much it costs? Put that back. He don't need that. That, that ain't going to be in hell. Just put it back. <laughs> <laughs> so are you like this all the time? I am. Mm -hmm.